At the grave of Colonel Charles Goodnight, Marla Nooney sings a Comanche song during the unveiling of a Masonic cross. As a young man, you know, he was up in this panhandle area and they were trying to settle it, and he was called to the Texas Rangers. He knew he had to perform a duty, and he joined up. Charles Goodnight was a friend of the Comanche chief, Quanah Parker, and Parker's descendants honor him. The Comanches owe a great debt of gratitude to uh, Colonel Goodnight. Um, he went into, he fed a lot of the Comanche people. Uh, he didn't have to, but he did. Charles Goodnight was the first rancher in the Texas Panhandle. He was a Freemason, and he was a Texas Ranger. So the Rangers have honored him with a special cross made by Clarendon Silversmith, Kevin Johnson. I can't thank those guys enough for uh, you know asking me to do something like this. These, these things are great honors to do anything for them, much less something like this for Colonel Goodnight. We try to get as many as we could to come up, but we want to carry on the Texas Ranger legacy. The first ranch in the Texas Panhandle was established in 1876. Goodnight lived here with his wife, Molly. She's credited with convincing him to capture the dwindling buffalo remaining in Paladuro Canyon and to raise them on the ranch. His original bull, Old Sykes, helped him begin a breeding program. Many bison existing today are due to his efforts. How do you think those cowboys that work for good night managed to handle them? Oh, just look out, you can see the curvature of the earth out here. It's so vast, and they had cattle over everywhere. Monty Gooden was born in this house. Her father, Cleo Hubbard, was the son of the Goodnight's housekeeper. When they came here, there was nothing. This house rose up from the prairie. There was not a tree. There was not a fence. There was not a road. There was not another house. The railroad was coming, and that's why Goodnight came here. The Charles Goodnight Historical Center was completed earlier this year, and tours are conducted through the Goodnight House. Here you notice the ceiling has dropped down and there's no paper on it. This chandelier did not have to be hoisted. Efforts have been made to preserve the original Goodnight style. Much is also told of the Goodnights in the Armstrong County Museum. The Goodnights once lived in a dugout in Paladuro Canyon, but today their spirits pervade all parts of the Panhandle. Larry Lemons, Pro News 7.